In this video, we want to do some data collection with our Dynatos 3031 ability. We have a, a PDA, which is an, a Bluetooth enabled Android sign. The first step would be to pair the Bluetooth module on the LWD with our phone or the PDA. To do so, we need to press the button once to make the Bluetooth module visible. And we only need to do the pairing for the very first time. We need to go to the setting on our phone and pair the LWD. We need to look for the serial number number on the Bluetooth module, which in this case, it's written here, 1443. And the password is a four digits below that, which in this case is 2756. All right, so we have paired our LWA device. The next step would be to go to the field software. We have already downloaded and installed the field software from the Google store. We just enter the software. And that's not, uh, we have the option to log in or not now. The first step would be to create a project. To do so, we press the plus button. We have the title, we can change the title. We can uh, add a description, change the start or end date of the project and just create. Afterward, we enter the project and we can create a session. Similar to the project, we just press the plus. We have a new session, we can change the title, we can add a description if we want and change the date and create. When we are in a session, we need to make a location. Similar to the session in project level, we just press the plus button. We have the option to change the title, add a description, change the date, but most importantly, we have the option to tag a picture to our location. So we can just take a picture, from our test location and tag it to our field software. We also have the GPS location. As you can see, we have the longitude and latitude. We can uh, add the air temperature, surface temperature, material temperature, all the so soil moisture content. And afterwards, we'll just create a session. We enter the location In the location menu, we have four tabs. The tab for the images, we can add extra images if we want, the drops, the settings, and the equipment. So right now, it doesn't know which equipment it's connected to, the status is disconnected, and it doesn't have any information in it. So we need to go back to the drop menu, scan for the equipment, and it's going to detect the LWD that we have already paired with our unit. So this is it. We'll just click on it and say connect. Connecting. Connected. All right, so when it's connected, we have the blinking green light on the LWD. And we are ready to do some drops. So if you go back to the equipment menu, it has already de detected our equipment. It says connected. It shows the serial number and the uh, calibration files for the load cell and the geophones. So if you want to have external geophones, we can easily add them and uh, we can uh, collect the load and up to three surface deflections. Here in this setting, I only have the main geophone set up. So we go back to the drop menu. All right, so here we are in the location tab and we are ready to do some drops. We need to scan for the LWD. 
and then we find the other ability here we have already found it and we say connect connecting so as soon as it connects us connects to the other ability we have Connected. a blinking green light which is an indicator of our connection so we are ready to do some drops in this location So we do a drop and we can see a graph with the applied force and the deflection and a table that summarizes all that information. The force, the pressure, the duration of the pulse, our uh, geophones which has the offset which for the center geophone it's obviously zero if we have Additional geophones will have different offsets from the center of the plate, then the measured deflection and the modulus. So if we want to go to another location, we just exit and then say location number two. We can change the title if we want. Similarly, we can add a picture and then we have the GPS location obviously and we can add all the different temperatures and the soil moisture content and create. So now we are in a second location. We are already connected to the allowability and it shows that it's connected. So we can just do another drop. So we have the applied force and the deflection and the summary table similarly. Thank, thank you for watching this video.